some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, poor little Chrissy from Denver Metro Audits has discovered a rat in his midst from the 15-man audit that took place a couple weeks ago where he and a couple other frauders were arrested. The link will be in the description below. Now he's calling the snitch out. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We actually had a snitch in our own group, which is a, I thought was my friend. We were all feel betrayed by this individual yeah. um, who made a deal because he wanted his phone back, guys. He wanted his phone back so bad because they confiscated all of our stuff. I have my good camera. I have thousands of dollars worth of equipment that they confiscated, guys. Um, and we all want our phones back. But he he said, well, I need, I'm need. i a journalist. I need my phone, stuff like that. Well, well, we're getting a warrant for your phone, he said. And uh, we said, well, what if I just come down there? Well, maybe we give it to you today. So the individual is Ghost Rider. A lot of you might know Ghost Rider. Uh, he's done some audits with Johnny Five O. Um, he has like five thousand subscribers, so he's Johnny Five O's uh, moderator. Never heard of this guy, Ghost Rider, but now you're on my radar because if you're willing to turn on your own friends, you are a very interesting target to me in terms of content. That is, and. You know, I just feel betrayed, guys. I, I thought that he was our friend. He went in there and told them that he would let them go through his phone. And what they went through his phone and they took pictures of our entire group chat conversation, our group text that we had with, I mean, originally there was like 50 people on those group, group text messages. And then we narrowed it down to like 15 people at the very end. So there's lots of big time auditors out there, guys, that were involved in those group text messages that they all have now. And his response was, well, they didn't get any incriminating information. Uh, well, first he said, well, I think they're trying to get you for conspiracy, DMA. I'm like, well, thanks a lot, man. <laughs> and now you're helping them with that. I mean, he's like, well, there's nothing incriminating. And it's true, guys. Like, we didn't break the law. It's not illegal to organize a First Amendment protected activity. But the point is, guys, is that he betrayed us, number one. And number two, they didn't know the vast majority of everyone. The only people they knew was Big Sis and I. That's it. If you're not paranoid already, buddy, you should grow some eyes in the back of your head. Because there is no honor among thieves or frauders, I'm sure there must be some others in your midst that would turn you in under the right conditions. Now they have everyone's phone number. So now they can do some investigation, find out who each individual is. And if they want to, they can try to get warrants for everyone now. He threw us all under the bus so we could get his phone back, guys. He didn't come to us. I, me and Regan take care of our people, okay? He didn't come to us. I need a phone. Maybe we could have helped him get a cheap phone to get him by until we can get that stuff back. I mean, we are we can make sure everyone got out of jail, guys. We're not leaving anyone in jail. Thanks, AFA um, and, and, and Regan for helping us with that too. But it's a, he's a snitch, guys. He's a snitch, and he can't be trusted, okay? And I, I feel backstabbed. I feel betrayed. Oh, poor little guy. I am so shocked for you that you picked a bunch of honorless nitwits to follow you. Let's go ahead and call your mother to bring your security blanket over so you can sit in the corner and cry. Which is probably what you're going to be doing uh, for the next month anyway, considering that you've already said that you're taking the month off. Guys, okay, so <clears throat> that is it. Um, and, you know... Like I said, you know, now the police have everyone's phone number and they can tie that to everyone's name. They can do an investigation. They're the police and they they can get warrants for everyone if they want. Um, you know, it's unfortunate, guys. It's it's sad. Denver Metro Audits took that extra step and gave him yet another chance to own up behind the scenes and say, hey, yeah, okay, I fucked up. He wouldn't even do it. Well, now, it seems like the first domino has fallen. Now we just gotta wait for the fireworks to happen.
Hopefully the whole thing will happen quick and painless.